Hey everybody. In this video, we're going to start to make connections between first order systems of differential equations and matrices. And our focus on this video will mainly be on the notation. So we'll start with the definition. A matrix valued function or a matrix function is a matrix in which each entry is a function of T. And we say that the matrix function is differentiable if each of its elements are differentiable. And then we define the derivative of that matrix to just be the derivative of each entry. So for example, um, suppose x of t is the matrix t cubed e to the t 5t. And a of t is the 2 by 2 matrix t sine of t cosine of t t to the fourth. We want to find the derivatives of these matrices. So again, all we're doing is taking the derivative of each component. So x prime would be 3t squared e to the t 5. And a prime of t would be 1 cosine of t negative sine of t 4t cubed. Where again, we just took the derivative of each entry within the matrix. Okay, so suppose we want to convert the following system into a matrix form. Again, we're just thinking about rewriting things using a different notation. So we would first write each side as a vector. So on the left, we have the vector x1 prime, x2 prime. And on the right, we want to think of this as a product of the matrix 4, 7, negative 2, negative 5 with the vector x1, x2. And so if we define the vector x bar to be x1, x2, then our system can be written in matrix form as x prime equals 4, 7, negative 2, negative 5 times x. And this is what it means to write our system in matrix form. Now suppose we have a system of three first order linear equations and the general case of n first order linear equations is very similar. So we have an x1 prime, x2 prime, x3 prime and each of these derivatives um, you see is written in terms of an x1, x2, x3 and then also a, a outward function too, an f1, f2, f3. So we can write this system similarly in matrix form where we've got a vector containing our derivatives, x1 prime, x2 prime, x3 prime, and then a product of two matrices, one containing all of our functions, the p11 through p33 times the vector x1, x2, x3, and then plus our vector containing our functions, f1, f2, f3. Or we could rewrite the notation just as our derivative x prime is equal to the matrix function p of t times the vector x plus the matrix function f of t. Okay, now we're going to go back to the systems we had in examples 1 and 2 in the last video and convert those systems into matrix form. So in example 1, our final solution was the system x1 prime equals x2, x2 prime equals minus a half x1 plus 5 halves x2. And we also had the initial values x1 of 3 equals 6, x2 of 3 equals negative 1. So we first define the vector x bar to be x1, x2, and then our system becomes x bar prime equals the matrix 0, 1, minus a half, 5 halves, times x bar. And we have our initial values as well. x bar of 3 is 6, negative 1. So this is what our solution would look like in matrix form. Our second example from the previous video, our solution, x1 prime was x2, x2 prime was x3, x3 prime was x4, x4 prime was minus x1 plus sine of t x2 minus 3x3 plus t squared. And we had initial values as well. So we need to be a little bit careful with that t squared this time. So we start by writing our derivatives on the left as a single vector. And then on the right, we're going to, the first step is just to pull apart everything that has an x and then plus a vector containing that t information. So a 0, 0, 0, t squared. 
Okay, and then we want to take this matrix with these X's in it and write it as a matrix product. So let's do that. So when we do that, we get our X bar prime equals the 4 by 4 matrix that you see here times X bar and then plus that vector containing that T squared. And then we finally also have a vector telling us about our initial conditions, X bar of 0 equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Great, so that's all for this video, just getting us used to that notation, taking our systems and rewriting them in matrix form. We'll see how we can use this to solve the systems uh, coming up next. Thanks, guys. Bye.